Well, hello friends, and welcome to another video. We are doing kind of a repeat of the last video, just with a completely different set of materials, sort of. Some of them I used in the last one as warps, and all of these, except for some of the red and the yellow, I believe, I used in the last video. But I wanted to show you, we're going to do the warp floats again, because I liked so much how it featured the warps, and now we are going through... Um, the rest of the Lithuanian wool that I have in the form of the wefts. But right here, I have my three to one warp float. Here is my little hack for not having to skip one and do all of the shenanigans in the front here when you're going, when you're doing your wefts. I've noticed that people have to like intentionally skip one to make sure it doesn't miss. My advice to you is this, make sure you have uh, multiples of four and then plus one on either side. I skip the first one and I make sure to leave the last two rather than going under on the last one, which would have been the natural progression. I leave it over and that seems to prevent any need to do any diving underneath during the uh, floating process. And it seems to keep everything in sequence nicely. So what I will do first is probably uh, throw in some plain weave. I saved some of the warp to make a plain weave um, kind of a selvage edge. I really liked how that looked on the last scarf we did together, which was my last video. Go check it out if you didn't see it. Uh, but I will bring you along for the weaving on this one. It's warped just the same as everything else that you have seen me warp so far uh, on this loom. So check out the Easy Weaver, I think it's part three where we see how hard it is to rewarp something on this loom and that is where I show you how to rewarp it. Uh, nothing's changed except I added the foam, which really helps with evening out the tension. All right, let's get uh, started. I have the um, thread doubled over so that it will be somewhat or semi-equal to this warp or yeah to our warps and it will still look nice on the back we'll be able to feature a couple more colors it's all good in the hood as we say yeah we say that all the time here specifically me I'm the only person who says that all right well let's get started
well, I used that warp up within literally an inch of its life. There was no, there was no further way to get any more onto this warp without the whole thing unspringing from the back. Um, this piece is definitely more chaotic and less planned than the last one we did. Um, I think I'll like it just as much. And it's the same idea of like having the warp float and then the weft float on the back so that we can enjoy both of the types of yarn, both the kind I made and the Lithuanian yarn. This one primarily is Lithuanian yarn that we're trying to use up here from the variety pack. I already have one of these pop off mid mid weaving, so I already had to rest, do a slight rescue. Um, I will probably braid the ends again like I did with the last one. And let me cover this up so it doesn't just like rip itself to shreds here. Do I have a tiny piece of tape left? Eh. Well, it's that, that's a very tiny, it's okay, buddy. You just, you hang out. All right. And let's unhook this Paul, P-A-W-L Paul. This still looks pretty fun. I was just trying to use up all the different yarns. I unsuccessfully used up all of the weft colors. Uh, so we'll have to weave something else with that. Maybe some more mug rugs. But look how cool the warp, the weft float on the back looks because it's doubled over. Doesn't that look fun? I think it does, to be perfectly honest. All right, let's keep going <laughs> or we'll be here all day. Um, see, these are fun. Another nice short yarn scarf. And now this time I had too much on the front end. Well, you know. Nobody's perfect. All right. Well, oh my God, that means I have to warp this again or else I'll have nothing to weave on. Uh, well, that's the trouble with finishing things. This is still pretty fun. All right. Well, I'll do a good job washing this because this one's actually a lot more cool than I thought it would turn out. All right. Well, we're going to go wash this after I braid the fringe. I probably won't show you the in-between on that because you've seen braided fringe before, I presume. But our little salvages look nice, and it's just kind of a chaos vibe. I'm into it. I'm here for it. I feel like a Scythian would have been proud to wear it whilst they galloped around marauding. It's very, it's very Scythian vibes to me with the red. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I'm, I'm deeply amused by things like that. All right, well, I'm off to go wash this. We made it through laundry. And again, didn't ruin something. So good for us. Um, it bloomed beautifully. It got much, much softer. Um, I'm very impressed. I was a little more aggressive about the washing. So I think that I can be more aggressive about the washing without destroying it is my current, current assessment. Um, I think it looks really nice, actually. I like the fringe. And then this is the warp. Well, here, let's see the other side of the warp float. There's the other side's colors. Also very nice. Very much, very much like that. And then on the inside, we have the weft float because it does the opposite to the opposite side of the fabric. You now have a front and a back. And you get more feature of the Lithuanian yarn on the back. Or I guess the intentional backside, but it, either one could be your intention. I suppose. Anyway, I'm very happy with how these came out. I'm thrilled that I haven't destroyed something by laundering it. Um, and I'm very impressed with our friend Petaluma. Uh, finest Christmas gift I've received in a while. So thank you for that. Uh, gosh, I still have some uh, Lithuanian yarn to use up. And I also have all of my own yarn that I dyed. So no doubt we'll be warping up something for Petaluma to work on. Uh, today because if I don't have something on a loom now I get very anxious not just not just a side project but specifically a loom project it has to be on deck so I will no doubt be rewarping but thank you again for coming along as I learn how to do all this and uh being as amused as I am by the <laughs> things I discovered that is probably knowledge kept by other people very easily but um being autistic means I don't like to talk to people, so I figure it out myself. Anyway, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!